여자친구야 아침 뭐할까 baby 내 여자친구야 hey 여자친구야 
emotional roller coaster that I've gone through this month I mean there was nothing wrong with the month but or that there's nothing like really wrong with my life right now actually my life is great but when you spend so much time by yourself with your own brain you are gonna get yourself into a situation that it's not good okay like I remember I have ever gotten into the state in 2020 when the virus started that I just didn't want to do nothing whatsoever I didn't want to like actually didn't want to do anything point blank period like I used to wake up at midday and not accomplish anything in a day that's when I failed my YouTube I'm so over these politicians with the weirdly loud campaign vehicles and anyway, it's gone. It all was up here, like everything was up here, okay? I have had three mental and emotional breakdowns. Like, yo, in a month I've had three. Most of the time I have once in a month or once in two months, okay? Like a regular person 
or maybe not a regular person but you get the gist okay but this month y'all i went through three emotional breakdowns like almost every single week i was having an emotional breakdown and to be honest with y'all i'm not sure why but i think it's because i'm so focused on how my life is gonna be five years from now that I am forgetting to live life right now. And the right now is not where I want to be. The right now is 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 hanging in the balance. The right now in my life is a little bit stagnant. Like nothing great is happening and nothing bad is happening. It's just in the middle, like it's mid, okay? The life that I'm going through right now, the stage Right now, it's just me, okay? Nothing great is happening. Um, there's no, nothing happening on the, both, like, on the extreme ends of the spectrum. So, I'm just right in the middle of the spectrum. And I have all these goals, all these dreams, all this stuff that I want to achieve on my YouTube channel, on my personal life, on my health, on my mental health. It's, 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 it's overbearing me down. Like, I sit down and I watch a movie, right? But to be honest with y'all, I am not seeing nothing. I'm not understanding the movie. I am not getting nothing. Why? Because my brain is like a freaking machine. It's always rolling. It's always thinking. It's always doing this and this and this. And I'm like, maybe I need a, maybe I need to go to therapy. But then again, I'm black. We don't believe in that. <laughs> like, you know, why would you pay someone to tell you what's wrong with you? And if you sit down with yourself, you're going to tell yourself what's wrong with you. An extra. So, I just want to keep this month away. Like, I am so glad that January... What? July is ending on a Sunday. Today is Sunday. Today is the 31st. Tomorrow is 1st of August. I feel like it's a brand new way to start. It's a good way to start a brand new month. I mean, it's a weird thing. Okay, I always have this imagination that... Monday is your restart day. Like I get people it's like, oh Monday, I hate Monday. I love Mondays. Weirdly, I love Mondays because it's a chance to start afresh for the week. That's why it's the first day of the week. Don't argue with me about what the first day of the week is. Everyone has their own version. Some people say Saturday is the first day of the week. Some people say Sunday is the first day of the week. I don't care about like specificalities. All I care about is in Ekranamu's world. Monday is the first day of the week and Monday is a chance for you to do better that week if last week was trash this is gonna be better the next week is gonna be best and the other week is gonna be amazing every single Monday is a day to you know start fresh okay like the first of July not the first like the first of every month is a new way to start a brand new month okay the first day of the year is a new way to start a new year so to me Monday plays the exact same purpose now I think this Monday is golden because it's the first day of the week and the first day of the month so August is a blast according to me and according to the things I believe in so yeah anyway so the point is okay this month I have so much faith in it like I every single month I have a goal to um to accomplish and the month of July was to fix my sleeping schedule you know my waking up schedule and my working out schedule and I can easily wake up at 6 30 right now I just decide not to for my own weirdness like at 6 out of my alarm rings I'm actually quite awake but then some voice inside like the back of my brain is like bitch go back to bed and I go back to bed. It's not because I can't wake up in the morning early like that. I can't wake up in the morning early like that. I've always, like, there's a long time. I, there's a time I used to wake up at 3.30 in the morning when I was going for internship and stuff. So, waking up early to me is not a challenge. That little voice in my head, that's the challenge. Like, that girl is very, very very like what's the word I'm looking for convincing like she'd be like why are you waking up it's a it's a Tuesday you worked out yesterday okay maybe today you just don't have a lot to do you really did everything you done did yesterday so just chill out and I'm gonna listen to her because it's in my brain I'm gonna listen to her and I'm gonna keep on sleeping so this month I actually did pay attention to 
waking up early to fix my waking up schedule something else i had let me show you all where's my books okay let's get into the particular okay y'all so this book is for all my career stuff like my youtube stuff goes here and well actually technically just my youtube stuff that goes in this book um this is a book my mom got me recently no this is the book i got myself recently um where do i do this book i just write like i have my goal for the next year over here and i just do my morning affirmations i have a workout timetable and and my dream morning and night routine so this is just a morning gratification notebook sorry morning gratification affirmation notebook plus goal setting like you know dream routines dream whatever on this book and then this is a book that this is the notebook my mom got me and this book i just write this is my journal like i write all my emotions my feelings what was going on that day i've been writing for a couple of weeks not every single day but i try and write every single week most days of that week um and then this book is just full of a bunch of different stuff that there is really no there's no any one thing nothing really nothing important though and then here is my what am i gonna call this my daily planner like i have it's a daily planner y'all so i write goals weekly goals in here because every single space on the start of the week has this note section where i write all my dreams and goals for that week so sometimes i do these things slowly and slowly i do weekly and weekly now since i've taken you guys through my very many notebooks um let me show you the gold my career goals that i had for this month okay so the monthly goals that i have written over here y'all is uh, post 13 videos for this month and i'm gonna have a total of 48 videos but in reality i only posted i'm not sure how many videos i posted this month but i only have a total of 44 videos meaning i didn't completely um achieve this goal but i had that time where i had a sick week i didn't post for a week but that only totals to three videos so where is the other one video lacking there is somewhere but i had that sick week it's not an excuse but it's something that happens and it was uh, you know i couldn't i couldn't like you know um run away from it so that affected my posting schedule but that's fine um the next goal is post more lifestyle aesthetic vlogs Yo, I've just started posting my weekly vlogs. So that is a I I I forgot how to speak. That's a lifestyle vlog. So meaning I have got into the habit of posting um lifestyle vlogs. So we have achieved that. So we cancel it out. The next goal was gain to, uh gain subscribers like my goal subscribers this year, not this year, this month was 1200 subscribers i am at 1072 so i haven't really achieved that subscriber count but that's fine and then the next one is get to 400 watch hours y'all i'm at 1500 so we're still gonna have to put that as our next um month goal now you see when it comes to like subscribers and watch hours something i can't technically control um if i haven't achieved it this month i just push it to next month and then I, i'm not like mad about it but you know it's also a goal but maybe i can't achieve it this month i'm gonna achieve it next month so yeah as i now sit down and write the goals um for this week for this month i write the goals for this month um on my goal book this is my goal books this is my goal book uh, and then I write my plan for this week, like my to-do list for this week. And then I also plan my YouTube content for this month and my YouTube goals for this month. So that's what we're going to do right now. And after that, I have nothing else. Just the last part of my monthly reset. Here's the thing, y'all. If you enjoy this video, if you enjoy this monthly resets, weekly resets, I can easily do them every week, every single month. But the thing is, they're exactly the same. 
okay so i feel like they might get boring i tweak just a little bit of things about most of it 95 percent of it i do exactly the same thing like if it's on the, at the end of the week okay i change my shit um i do laundry um i do my own physical self-care except this week i i have this to deal with but this is next week's problem uh so like you know, I kind of do the same thing. When it comes to monthly resets, most of the time I do the uh, monthly plan, the monthly goals, the monthly everything. Because right now at my stage in life, all I'm focused on is my personal goals and my career goals. Um, I don't have like bills or stuff to do. And most especially this coming month, I only have one class like I have to go to school one time to do my exam and that's gonna be I think Friday the 19th or something yeah Friday the 19th way after elections so this month we also have elections in Kenya and it's a little bit walking on shelves because nobody knows how, what's gonna happen okay of course no one wants to the repeat of 2007 2008 post election violence nobody wants a repeat of that i was only seven eight but i still feel like i don't want our country to go through that again because going through something like that is gonna lower our tourism it's gonna lower um our economy because who wants to come and invest in a country that's fighting who wants to tour a country that's fighting so i really hope that kenyans are gonna be peaceful hold up y'all before i go y'all i've been talking for a while but anyway i have this new goal that i think i wanna do um i wanna start a podcast y'all i wanna start a podcast about my unpopular opinions about you know growth over like you know self-growth and stuff so if you're interested in seeing that y'all comment down below or like this video my camera is dying so let's get on with the planning for this month staring out the window reaching for a north star waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms dancing to the limbo stuck here in the middle you tell me that it's simple but i could Thousand different pictures of what is wrong But if we turn the clocks back A couple dials We should throw them out Because time ain't as well But you fill me up And I can feel it now Just a thousand versions of who they were So love me like we're equal 
She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. 